about to check on the chocolate. Burned. It burned. I'm about to cry. It wasn't melting before. Y'all, I don't burn the fucking chocolate. Oh my god, y'all. I'm so embarrassed. Ah! I'm letting God handle all things above. What's up you guys, it's your girl Gifted and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a little Valentine's Day prep, Galentine's Day prep, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to be making some chocolate covered strawberries and a heart cake. I'm really scared about this heart cake because i never made a two-tier cake before, so we're gonna see. I got all the supplies in the back, you feel me? Make sure that you guys subscribe if you enjoyed today's video and share it with your friends. We're on the road to 1K subscribers, so make sure you tell them to subscribe and join the family. And we're gonna hop into it. All right, you guys. FYI, if you hear any noise in the background, it's either Luna or Anthony because he's playing the game, so sorry. <laughs> so this is the cake mix I'm using today. It's the German chocolate. And we're just gonna start by mixing all of our ingredients together, so. Let's open up the box. Just got the oven set to 350. Now we got our cake. Our first cake that is. We're gonna do our layers one by one, so we're just gonna start by getting our first cake together. So I'm just making a little well here in the middle. And as you guys can see, I already have all my ingredients and tools set up behind me. Now we're going to go ahead and measure out a half a cup of oil. We need one cup of water. And now we need three eggs. So here's one. Now we're going to go ahead and mix everything together. you guys so the first batter is done so now that we're all done with mixing our batter we're gonna go ahead and get our heart cake pan spray it up and put it in there so we can get it going in the oven this is the beautiful heart cake pan in mind super cute get my non-stick spray we're using coconut oil over here and we want to get this really nice and coated so that the cake comes out easy All right, we're good with the spray. And now we're gonna start pouring it in. It smells so good. But unlike my husband, I'm not going to taste it because there's raw eggs in the batter. And I don't wanna get sick. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna put this bowl to the side really quick because we are gonna use it again. Just wanna smooth this out. And I'm just gonna like tap it kind of on the counter because, you know, to get rid of air bubbles. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the oven. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. So the first cake is in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and make the batter for the second cake and then we're gonna get started on the chocolate covered strawberries. So onto our next cake, doing the same thing that we did the first time. You guys are really praying that this cake comes out good. I did get a cake leveler, so I'm hoping that that gives me an advantage of some sort.
second batter is done. Just gonna go ahead and put this to the side for now because I only have one heart cake pan. Unfortunately, I couldn't find another and I wanted them to be exact. So once that one comes out the oven, cools off, then I can pop it out, then this one will go in. All right, now we got our strawberries. We're just gonna take them out and clean them up. Alright, so while these are soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some parchment paper and put it here on my pan. Alright, so I've got my parchment paper in here. I'm just gonna set it up here because this is where we're gonna decorate and dip the strawberries. Alright, so now that our strawberries have been soaking for a while, we're just gonna rinse them off and dry them. <laughs> Try to get them as dry as I can. Let them air dry out for a little bit too. Actually, I might just put them in the fridge for a little bit so they can really get dry. Once these are all dried off, I'm gonna go ahead and insert some extra long toothpicks in the top just so that it's a little bit easier when I'm dipping in the chocolate. So while these are in the fridge drying off, I'm gonna go ahead and start melting the chocolate. These strawberries look pretty good. I wouldn't eat one right now, but I'm gonna wait. <laughs> And my husband is going to be the taste tester for these treats today, you guys. These are actually drying already pretty quick. Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and put the strawberries in the fridge to dry. Alright, you guys. So, these are the two chocolates that I got. One is pink, one is red. And the pink is actually strawberry flavored. Fun fact. It's strawberries and cream. The red is just regular vanilla flavors. So what I need to do is melt them in the microwave first, but I only have one of these measuring cups, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a mason jar for the other just because it needs to be deep. Go ahead and open up the pink. Ooh, it smells so good. Literally smells like strawberries and cream. And we're just gonna put them in the microwave for a minute. And while that one is going in the microwave, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the red. This one just smells like regular chocolate, but still smells good. I feel like it's going to be a little bit more difficult for this one to mix, but it's in this jar, but it's okay. I think I'm going to do half first, and then melt the rest. Just because the jar is smaller. Alright, what I'm going to do is here. Alright, so I was checking on the pink chocolate melts. They actually haven't melted too much at all, so I'm going to put them back in there for two minutes. Huh? About to check on the chocolate. Burned. It burned. I'm about to cry. It wasn't melting before. Y'all, I don't burn the fucking chocolate. Look, it's black. It wasn't melting. I did, but it wasn't melting. You gotta keep stirring it. Oh my god, y'all, I'm fucking retarded. Look. <laughs> What am I supposed to do with this? I can't use it. They been boiling. <laughs> they been boiling hot. <sighs> oh my god, y'all. Well, this is not going how I expected it to. Well, now I know better. Um, good thing we got this. Y'all shut up. I don't hear nothing in the comments. How you burn chocolate? Shut up. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. I'm so embarrassed. This is my first time. You guys, I'm so embarrassed, but I guess now that we are no longer making pink and red chocolate dipped strawberries, we only need one of these. So we're gonna do half, add some in, and do it that way. Ah. All right, it's starting to melt some. We're just gonna make sure that we're extra careful because this is the only other chocolate that I have right now. We're just gonna keep taking it out and stirring it. We're gonna keep doing 30 seconds and 30 seconds because I cannot risk this one like burning, okay? I just can't. We're gonna do some more. Keep mixing. 
pray for me, you guys. I'm so scared I might not even leave it in there for 30 seconds. Take it out, mix, take it out, mix. We're not going to risk this one, okay? I'm gonna keep microwaving this as many times as I need to. I can't believe that happened, you guys, but this is real life. And I gotta tell y'all the truth, you feel me? I really burnt that chocolate, mm -hmm. you hear me? This is my first time doing this, so at least now I know better for next time. Well, if it doesn't need any more time in the microwave, it just needs to be mixed more. But y'all yeah, did it! <laughs> so I'm just gonna set this to the side. And we're gonna start preparing to get the strawberries together. All right, you guys, so I have a few things here for my setup. Obviously, I have the chocolate. I also have some letters and numbers. This is a chocolate mold. I was planning on putting the pink in here, but I don't know if we're gonna even have enough to put the red in there. So we're gonna see. I've got some small Ziploc bags, sprinkles, a bunch of different sprinkles. We have some pink heart sprinkles and some little pearls. Got my scissors, my toothpicks, and of course, strawberries. So first things first, we're just gonna go ahead and start to assemble them all out in here. Make sure that I have enough space, especially because I probably should have used the bigger pan. So let's start by doing that and putting our toothpicks in. And these are extra long and I'm hoping these will help because I have long nails. Okay, nice, just like this. Yeah, I can already tell you just by this one big strawberry, I don't think I'm going to have enough space. But we're still going to go ahead and insert all of our toothpicks. And if I definitely need to use a bigger sheet, I will go ahead and get it. Just taking my time because I don't want to accidentally stick it all the way through the strawberry. these tiny baby ones super cute all right I don't want to overcrowd this so I literally have five strawberries left <laughs> I don't want to overcrowd this area here so what I'll do is I'll take a few off for now I'm still gonna stick the toothpicks in the rest of the strawberries that I have and I'm just gonna work with the few strawberries that I have at once. And before I start dipping these, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the second cake so that that can start baking. So we have a total of 10 strawberries here on the tray and 10 strawberries here on the plate. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the ones on the plate back in the fridge for now while we work on these, but I'm gonna go ahead and check on the cake and put the second one in the oven. All right, so that first cake came out pretty clean. I'm excited. I would've showed y'all, but I'm gonna have to move everything. So we're gonna go ahead for the second pan. It came out so clean because I coated the pan real good. All right, cake number two. Just gonna smooth it out, get the air bubbles out. And now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. I saw on TikTok that the best method is to fully dip them and then scrape them on the back of the glass so that there's not a pool of chocolate underneath them. So they said it's a cleaner look. So we're gonna see. I'm trying to get the leaves to stand up. Okay, here we go. Here we go, you guys, the first one. I'm just gonna let it drip a little bit. And we're gonna scrape the back. Okay, first one. Now we gotta do our next one. I'm trying not to get this on my sleeves. What the glass needs to be deep. Coming out good so far, you guys. Number two. I'm very happy that we got the toothpicks because originally I wasn't gonna do this with the toothpicks, but yeah, they definitely came in clutch. Oh, this 
because I can see the little She's like, I want help, mom. You want help? The chocolate cookie. I'm just gonna let that sit for a second. Put these in the fridge and I'll come back. Sorry if y'all hear that scraping noise. Anthony is making Luna's dinner. Mm -hmm. That's that real healthy stuff for her. Dinner of the dogs. <laughs> Got her kibble, some carrots, some chopped carrots that I made for her, and a liver. Raw liver. <laughs> so my second one is <clears throat> almost ready to come out the oven. We're gonna start drizzling, decorating. I got my heart-shaped sprinkles. And I got some pink glitter and white pearls. And I'm hoping that it comes out cute. Here we go, you guys. Oh yeah, I definitely gotta remelt this chocolate. But it's not bad for the first one. This one, let's do some hearts. I need to remelt the chocolate so that it's prettier. Instead of doing the heart sprinkles for the next one, we're gonna try the pearls and the pink sugar. Oh my god, this is cute! You guys, this is mad cute. I like that. I think I'll leave this one plain without any sprinkles. That one was pretty cute. It's one of the best ones yet. <laughs> You guys, I'm so proud. All right, you guys, so now I have my letters and numbers mold. I think I'm gonna have enough chocolate to at least write Happy V Day. So I just remelted this in the microwave, got me a glass, got my Ziploc bag, and I'm just gonna pour straight into that. Just gonna try to get as much air out as I can. We just need to get a small enough hole. That's also a decent size. All right, we're gonna go in. It's the letter H. Oh, this is so hard to do. <laughs> now we need an A. I think I might've cut the hole a little bit big, but it's all right, we're working with it, we're working with it. All right, now we're gonna shake out the air bubbles. Let's see if we need to add any more chocolate in them. All right, I think they're good. Now we just need to go in the fridge to cool off. All right, you guys, so Mr. Garcia has decided to join me in leveling our heart cake. So this is the first one. We got a bunch of stuff over here. This is the leveler. Obviously, y'all know what it's gonna do. This is the icing smoother to make the cake as smooth as me. <laughs> These are a bunch of tips because you can't get wrong. You can't go wrong with a good old tip. These are piping bags for the tips, and we got our icing. So I guess first we need to decide how tall we want the leveler. You guys, this is really hard to do. Anthony had to go in with the knife because the leveler wasn't doing it at first. So, and as you can see, our little cake here had a crack in it, so it just fell over. But this is the bottom layer anyway, so I think it should be all right. Fix it. Fix it, Daddy. Cheese! So now we're gonna take this, we're gonna get the piping bag ready. I don't know how they look expensive. Thank you. 
spread it out, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keo here a little munching. <laughs> we got some filling in the bag. together you guys make sure if you guys enjoyed today's video that you subscribe and share it with your wow. friends big pal luna wants to be involved in everything she's literally just up here on his knee right now like staring up like what are y'all doing she wants to be involved in every little thing huh pookie butt she don't want to be involved she want it yeah she can <clears throat> her lips she think it's a good snack for her we're doing a crumb coating pretty much you guys but this is the filling I thought you would go from the gangs to decorating cakes for a while. <laughs> Alright you guys, so that is our filling. Now we're gonna go ahead and level up our other cake, put it on top, and start getting a crumb coat going. That bit came out clean besides the you know the crack. It came out clean from we doing. one. <laughs> now it's gonna go in and we're gonna start doing a chrome coat. Look at my baby, y'all. We're bakers. <laughs> hurt my hand. <laughs> I could never be a baker professionally. I would hate this part. Look at my hand. Carpal tunnel. Y'all already know how to grab me a little snack. <laughs> Look at my crackers and my cheese. Mm, that looks nice. I just need to chew it. Yeah. Look you guys, so this is the crumb coat. We're gonna put it in the fridge for about 10-20 minutes Just because we can't put it in the freezer. Then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna start with the pink icing So excited! Babe is over there eating the cake that he cut off when he was leveling it <laughs> Three hours later Alright y'all, I'm back and we're gonna start by putting the pink icing in the bag I love this color pink I feel like I look so short, like y'all could barely see me. Get my piping bag ready. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, he can't control me. Uno built traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation isn't flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn the soil and I grew up by it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gonna do about it. Be with us, be bold. Matches my nails today. Alright, you guys. So, this is what we got so far. We're gonna put it in the fridge to cool off and then we're gonna fix it up nice. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright you guys, so this is the smoothest that I can get it. I was going to try the paper towel method, but the paper towels that we have have like a design on them. I thought it was a smooth one, but it's not. So this is what it's looking like. Right now I'm about to dust some edible rose gold glitter right on the top. And then we're going to go ahead and pipe on the little red lining. I don't know how I'm going to do it because this is taller than me and I'm already struggling to see the top. <laughs> so here we go. Trying to get it only on the top. Definitely so gotta brush it in a little bit. <laughs> Glitter everywhere. <laughs> it's leaving like little brush strokes, but it's okay. It's really the only brush I got, so can't do too much about that. I think that's enough glitter. I wish I didn't have the brush marks in it, but 
like this. Oh, it's gonna get all over the camera. That's a lot of glitter. It's a lot of work, you guys, and this glitter is getting everywhere. I'm just like. All right, now I've got my red icing. I'm just gonna put it in the piping bag and get it ready to go. This is why when bakers begin to yell a price, like this is why, because it's a lot of work, a lot of time. Shout out to the people who do this for a living, because I could not, I'm not like <laughs> equipped for this. <laughs> I don't know if I'll need this entire thing, because we are just trying to type like a little border around. I feel like I should do a tester. Like maybe I should do a real quick one here. Let's see what we can uh, do. Let's start with the bottom border. How about that? Alright, got my double border on the bottom. And on the top is what I'm worried about because I can't like short. I'm gonna do really to this cake. I'm gonna go ahead and pop out the letters and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they come out all right. I'm gonna loosen them up little by little, take my time. These are the only ones I got. I have no more melted chocolate. <laughs> the D. <laughs> got it. Okay, so I finally got them all out. Let's put them on here. Let's put one on here. It's so hard because I can't see. I'm so short. All right, we got happy. V. Day. Looks super cute. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't want to touch it. I'm so scared. This is my cake, you guys. I wish I could show you, but I don't want to fall over. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Persian rugs, but she's from Nicaragua. I thought she was Persian love. Are we turning up? Or are we wasting time? Girl, don't waste my time. You know I'm party alone. Just wanna chill with you. so much glitter on me <laughs> all right you guys so these are our creations and they turned out better than I expected to be completely honest with you so I'm pretty happy I put uh, not all of the strawberries but I put most of the strawberries on here even some of the small ones but they came out cute for my first time and I will definitely be giving this a try again I think I need to get a metal spatula for this because the spatula that we had was like doing what it was supposed to be doing giving what it was supposed to be giving you know? me so but yeah you guys shout out to you guys who stayed to the end and you made it this far y'all are real ones make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 1k 2024 we're gonna get there so make sure that you subscribe and you share with your friends tell them come join the family okay because we, we do this stuff over here okay period i love you guys but now if you don't mind i'm gonna go enjoy my tasty treats so i will talk to you guys later love you bye see you in my next video you a little post so baby You a little 48 baby Got a little candy in her pocket She gon' take off like a You already know, no, no, no.